do you think that transition is it common? I think you did it. Is it common, and is it is it feasible for someone to to move from let's say from SDR BDR over into marketing? And how how does one even think about that? Yeah, so there's three things to look for if you're eyeballing the bench for BDRs to move into that instead of an AU role or BDR manager or lifelong BDR. A couple things I'd look for. You want to see if the person shows signs of creativity. John Mazza, who's the person you're talking about, he has done so many great creative prospecting videos. He used to send videos to people with like, like he'd do silly stuff. He'd do him dancing in a green man costume, which fits our brand a lot. He'd, uh, he'd put on a captain's hat and do a bunch of poses and talk as a sea captain when he'd send videos to people. And he'd get like, he had like a 30 something percent response rate on stuff. Problem with Mazza is he'd been prospecting for five years, so he's getting burned out by it. And so like the creativity is one piece. Another thing you want to look for if you're going to pluck someone from the VR team is look at their writing. Um, that's a really important part here too. You want to see if they can write. Best way to look at if what they do is look at the cold emails they send every day. Are they, are they coming up with creative new things to innovate? Are they saying stuff with, do they have a grasp on the language that fits really well with what you're looking for? I would look at his cold emails all the time and he had great language to write there that was full of personality, but still informative. He was sticking to the positioning that we tried to arm everybody with, with our playbooks and our battle cards, um, while <laughs> still finding a creative way to execute it in his own voice. And the last part that I think really made him stand out that you could look for if you're tapping into the BDR stuff uh, as a potential is you could also look at uh, how's their business acumen? Do they understand the space? And that's the advantage you get off of BDR as opposed to someone outside that you might hire. Like I could go get a content marketer, but if I get someone that hasn't worked in the sales space, they have to learn the way of the land, what people care about, what are our buyers thinking about. He just spent months literally talking to our years, talking to people that we're trying to target. So he knows how they think and what they talk about.